Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So, in this video, we are going to see how to create login UI in Jetpack Compose in Android Studio. So, in this video, we are going to create simple UI, and in upcoming later videos of this series, we will also going to create complex UI as well. But the main thing in this video, we are going to learn how to create basic components in Jetpack Compose. So, this video is going to be very interesting. So, watch the video till end. So before starting this video, let me show a demo what we actually going to create. So for this, I have to open my phone. So I open my phone and uh, this is the application we, we are going to create. So you can see it is a basic UI which contain a text tube, two edit text and a button. And if I fill any wrong detail here, you can see it is giving me the toast fail to login. But if I giving a correct details here. So you can see logged in. I get this message. So we are going to create this kind of functionality in Jetpack Compose. So watch the video till end. So don't forget to delay. Now let's start the video. If you don't like the video till now, then please like the video. And if you don't subscribe to the channel till now, then please subscribe to the channel. So now let's start the video. So first of all, open your Android Studio. So if you don't know how to create your first Jetpack Compose application, you can check out my previous video where I tell this. How to create new project in Jetpack Compose? So you can see this is just a, an empty project where we will going to write the functionality. So first of all, for designing the UI, what we need to understand what we have actually in our screen. So you can see here on our screen we have a four things: login text, one edit text for email, one edit text for password, and one button for. So we have these things in our application. So we need to create. And you can see these four things are placed vertically. So what we can say these four things are placed in a column. So in Jetpack Compose we have a something called column where we can place all things and all or we can say all elements one by one which we need vertically. So let's start writing the code. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to call a. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to call a composable function here. So you can give any name. I am just giving here login UI. And inside this, I am passing application context. Why I am passing this application context? Because if I want to show the toast, then on that time I need this application context. Otherwise, there is no use of this. So hope you understand. Now we need to create this composable function. At the rate composable. Now you can give any name. It is your choice. I am just giving here login UI, and it will going to take context. So this is done. Now inside this, we need to write the code. And one more thing, we need to place this composable function outside of this bracket. So now here we need to write the code. So first of all, what we need to create, we need to create our text view, which will showing this login here, something like that. So for this, all things are going to place vertically. So first of all, I am need to take a column. So I just take a column here. Now inside this, what I need, I need first element my text view. So text, you can see how to create text view. Just take a text field inside this, mention the text what you want. So I am just giving here login here. You can give any text; it is your choice. And import this text. Now after this, we will going to modify some our text. So we can modify as and font family. So just you when you type font family, you can see. So font family dot monospace. I am going to use this. We can also use custom font. We will see in later videos how you can do this. Then I am going to align my text inside to text left. So text align dot left. Now I can also change my font size. So font size I am going to use here forty dot sp. You can set any size; it is your choice. And we also need to import this. Then we can also set font weight. So font weight is equals to I am going to use font weight bold. Then at last I am going to set the color of the text. So color dot red. So he, here you can see this is the basic purpose. Basic way how to create text in Jetpack Compose. Now I want to set the text with match parent. So why I am setting match parent? Because I want my text on left side alignment. So let us suppose if the text with is wrap content, then it will not going to show align on left side. It will always going to display on center. Hope you understand what is the difference between match parent and wrap content. Match parent will going to occupy the entire screen width. So I have to do this. So if I want my text on left side, so you can run this application as well, and you can check what is the difference between after writing deadline and before writing deadline. So I am going to add one line 
which will help to set the width of this match parent. So for this, I need to use modify here. Modify modify dot fill max width. So it will going to set it to wrap content match parent. Sorry, and I I can also set the padding. So I just need a padding from bottom. So if you just type here padding and directly pass the value, then it will going to apply the padding on pull on all four sides. But if you specify mention some any specific direction here, then you, it will going to apply on that only direction. So I just need padding from bottom. So I just type here twenty dot dp. So our text view is ready. Now it is showing error. Let me import this dp. So this is our final text view. So you can see it is very clean code. And hope you are able to understand how Jetpack Compose is working. So you can copy paste this entire thing, and you can create as many text view in column if you want. Now after this text view, what we need? We need a text field. Text field which mean edit text. So now this is the our text view, and now we have to need to create our edit text. So for creating the edit text, we can create two types of edit text. One is text field normal, and one is outline text field, which is not going to fail from inside. So I am going to use outline. So just type here outline text field. Now inside this, first of all, we need to declare variable where we want to store that value on change of that edit text. So let me explain what is this happening. So first of all, I am just declaring a variable where email, where I am going to store my email. So first of all, we have this thing remember. So it will going to track this. So when you type this remember. And then by default, what I want to store inside this so mutable state of by default I want to store inside this empty, not showing. We want I don't want to show anything. Now import this value, that value. So now after importing, you can see error is gone. Now here you can see in my first edit text what I want here. I want email. So I need to define that value which I want to show here, email. So whenever this value is going to change in my edit text, I want to track this, and I want to store this in my email variable. So on value change, what I need to perform here, I can perform. Let me make it more clear. So on value change, I just want to assign it again. So email equal it. That's it. So whenever user type something, it automatically go inside this email variable. So we can take this email variable text from this variable. Hope you understand how this is easy in Jetpack Compose. Now we can set text label as well, which will work as a hint. So just type here label and equal. Then on label, what I want to set, you can set anything, whatever you want. So I am just typing here enter your mail. You can type whatever you want. Then you can also set leading icon. So we have two kind of icon: leading icon, trail icon. So you can set any icon; it is your choice. So, how to set icon? So icon, then icons, and one more thing I want to say in starting, you may feel Jetpack Compose it a little bit difficult and something. Why this is Jetpack Compose? But believe on me, whenever one time you learn this, it will going to be very amazing. Then let's add a content description. So I am going to use this icon, I icon dot default person, and I can also use drawable icon as well, vector assets. But we will see working of that in later part. Then we have a content description, and I am just typing a person, whatever you can type. And at last, I am just setting it to modify dot fill with. So if you want to. Modify your edit text at a buttons. You know, uh, every time you need to use modifier. Fill max width dot padding, and I want to give padding from bottom 10 dp, 10 dot dp, and as well as from top, top equal 10 dot dp. So this is our edit text as well completed. So let me close this. So you can see how easy it is to create this edit text as well. Now we need to create this edit text same edit text for password as well. So first of all, I am using the shortcut here, Control Alt Shift L to reformat the code. So you can see now the code get beautified. Now copy this and paste below this because we need password below this, just below this. We also need to create a variable here for password. So well, password. I am just giving this variable name. You can give any. 
and here we will going to use password and inside this I want to store password and here I want to show password and I just change the leading icon info and you can change the constant de content description as well it is your choice modifier will be the same now I can use here visual transformation as well visual transformation to mask the password so I am just using password visual transformation and you can also use keyboard option so you can mention keyboard type but you want to use so I this keyboard option this is same as like IME options in XML so keyboard type and sorry this is not keyboard action keyboard options and inside this I can mention the keyboard type should open like password so keyboard type dot password so this is it so over this edit text created as well now at last what we need to create we need to create a button so I am going to use outline button you can create a normal button as well so I would like button and here inside this we, we need to mention what we want to so first of all I want text on my button so I want this text login then what I want I want to set my text to alignment center so take a comma here and press enter text align equal text align dot center now I want to modify this button not this text view so I want to use modify this button so I just use here modify dot fill max width and then dot padding and bottom from bottom I just giving the padding here 10 dp and from top I am also giving the padding here 10 dp now remove this line from here because I want to modify this button so control x and we need to paste this line here now again shortcut control all shift l to reformat the code so you can see this is the button and on click I want to perform something and I just modified this button to fill max width as a match parent and just give a padding here and this is the text now the main thing is left what we have to do if I someone click on this button so you can see this on click button is already defined so we can directly type we can call any function here so I am just calling my logged function to check whether the email and password is correct so I just passed three th things here email password and contacts so let me create this function so create function locked so you can see now it is created here successfully now I just can verify this if email equal equal hard coded this Rajesh and password equal equal 1234 then you can show the toast toast dot make text pass the context here so that's why I take the context because I don't need to show this the log in successfully then what we have toast dot lens short dot show and otherwise what we need to perform we can show different toast here else login fail control alt shift l so you can see so finally guys our code is ready and i hope you learn something new in this video now let's run our application and see whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video some important things are still left like uh, how to preview the your ui on just simultaneously by creating so we can also figure out this thing as well in upcoming videos so application installed successfully and the design which we are expecting is not looking so we need to modify something so why this happen because you can see here on top of this what I have I have a column so I forget to modify this as well because if I you can see I modify this text view I modify this text field and button as well but I forget to modify because this column is going to contain entire things so I hope you understand where I done mistake so let me clear my mistake so first of all if I want to modify this I just need to take here bracket modify equal modify dot fill max width and then let me give a padding 20 dot dp from all side this is the first thing which I want to do then I want to set my all design entire design in center so I just use here vertical arrangement so it is not same first take a comma don't forget to take a comma here if, if you are writing new so vertical so here I just need to use here arrangement dot center 
and also I want to use for horizontal as well. So horizontal again forget I forget to take a comma here. Horizontal alignment equal alignment dot center horizontally. And one more thing, and this is fill max size. Not fill max width. I have to use here fill max size because it will going to fix on entire screen. So let's run this application. So finally, guys, our application is ready. Now let's check whether it is working or not. So if I just fill this thing and if I click, so you can see I'm getting this message login fail. And if I type correct credentials, so one, two, three, four, logged in successfully. I am getting this message. So I hope guys you learn something new in this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video. Please subscribe the channel and please share the video. If you have any question, just comment down below. So thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.